When you are starting any project, you probably first check a lot of images online for inspiration. And we all know how important it is to have good references before we start any project. References are essential to have a realistic render. Hi, I'm Nuno. In today's video, I'll show you a free tool that you can use to gather all your references before starting any project. Before we start, I would like to invite you to my free training my top 10 secrets to achieve realistic results with your 3D renders. I'll leave a link in the top right corner and in the description below this video. So the free tool is called PureRef and if you go to their website pureref.com here you can find more information about it. So it works uh, with Windows, Mac and Linux and uh, it's quite easy to, to use it because you can drag and drop images from anywhere. I'll, I'll show you this soon. And if you go down here, we can click here, get pure ref. So in my case, it's the windows and you can contribute anything that you, that you want if you think that uh, it's, uh, it's worth for the developer. But uh, you can click here, custom amount and hit zero if you want to download it for free. Then you can just press here download and then install the, this tool. So after you install the tool, this is how it looks like. So right now there's nothing here. And you, if you right click, you have the settings, the help where you can see the shortcuts, lock the canvas. So basically it will stay always in this position. It will not move. I'm going to load here a reference board that I had from this uh, Christmas uh, cabin that I made. And I'll leave a link to it in the top right corner if you want to watch this short animation I did. But before I did this animation, I gathered some references. So as I said, references are very useful, especially from real photos. So you can have as a reference, a, a realistic photo is always better than a, a 3D render because with a 3D render, you will always copy what is already a render and it's not uh, so realistic as a real image, right? So the, be the best you can do is always to find references in real photos. And so, as you can see here, this was my final image with this project. So this was made in uh, Lumin 11. And if you notice, you have some elements here, especially from uh, this uh, interior here that I found on Pinterest. So I tried to copy more or less the same, same style with these wood bins on top and these uh, glass windows here. And all of this is quite easy to make. I will show you now how you can easily just drag and drop images and start organizing your boards and even create like small text so you will know exactly what is what. But before I show you that, I just want to make a shout out to BenQ for sending me over this monitor light. I'm working so many hours a day on 3D and since I start using this light, I can tell the difference in how my eyes feel because the light eliminates the screen glare and I love that it has 8 color temperature levels. And even more so, I like it that it stays on top of my screen and I can remove all the clutter from additional lighting from my desk. So now let me just go here to the left side and you can see that it shows up this arrow. So I'm just going to make it smaller like this, about here. And now I'm going to go to this tab. I'm going to make it to this side. And now on this one, just a little bit more, I'm going to delete all of this. And you can quickly just zoom in and out. And you see this canvas is the canvas created by the all the images that you have. And for example, here I'm on Pinterest and I just search for living room, modern farmhouse. Let's say that I like this image here. I can just drag and drop like this. Okay, drag and drop. Then I can go back and let's say I like this one. drag and drop here and let's just find something else say this one okay and maybe one more square let's see if we can find it can be this one okay see even from from this tab here on the bottom can go and start just whatever you like just do like this okay and now it looks a little bit messy right so what we can do we can either just move them around but that takes a lot of time to organize all of these images right 
So what I like to do is just by left clicking and dragging, I select all of them, and then I can press Control and left arrow on the keyboard, and then it organizes all to the left sides. And now if I can press Control and the up arrow key, okay. But one thing I like to do as well is when you press Control Alt and left side, it makes them all the same size. So it's easier now to just organize them all better like this, okay? So this way you have all your images organized and you can zoom in to any image or if you want, you can just press, click, select the image and then press space and it zooms directly to this image, to the specific one that you selected. So anyone like this, so you can quickly, if you are just searching for something on this image, you can quickly access it and just see what, uh, if you want to, for example, has, have this table as a reference, something like this. And then you can also add text. So let's say that this is a, this free, it's a group. Okay. Uh, by the way, if I move, you see that increases this gray area of this canvas. And let's say that this is another group with this image here. And this is another group. So I can now press Control left and Control down. Okay. So I can organize them all like this. And now I can organize like this. Okay. Just. Now, let's say that this is, uh, I want to have a, a text here. So I can press Control N and it creates a note. So I can say this is my reference living room one okay i can have uh, here settings of the text i can change the color i like this color but if you want let's say that this is uh, you want some yellow color okay so you can have like this and then you can just duplicate with Control c Control v and let's say this is oops this is number two the reference and this one will be number three. So you can quickly have these uh, organized spaces. And so this way it's quite fast to gather all your reference images and use these references to have the realistic free 3D render. And speaking of realistic results with your 3D renders, I have a free training for that. It's called my top 10 secrets to achieve realistic results with your 3D renders. I'll leave a link to it in the top right corner and also in the description below this video. And by the way, to know more shortcuts, it's uh, quite easy as well with this software. You can just click here, right click, and then go to help. And it has these uh, controls here, but you can go to the key binder here and you will find all the controls that you can use here for this, uh, for this tool. So actions, controls, system, colors. So you can change colors of the software if you like, preferences. So all of this can be accessed through here. And uh, if you are happy now with this reference board, you can simply right click and then click save and save has. Or if you want to send this to so someone that doesn't have this uh, software and you want to just share your mood board, you can go here and click save, export and export scene. And it will export all of this scene into one image. So here you can select the properties. So the quality as it is right now. So and here's my image. So as you can see, it uh, exports the size of that Canva. Okay. So it's basically this Canva here. And you can also do one thing that I forgot. If you like just to have some part of an image. So let's say that uh, you just want to, to have these shelves here. You can click the image and then with the C on the keyboard, you can just holding C and left click. This will crop just this area. So this also is quite useful because sometimes you don't want the whole picture, you just want a section of it. So you can do that here as well. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to sign up to my free training, my top 10 secrets to achieve realistic results with your 3D renders. I'll leave a link in the top right corner and also in the description below this video. And I'll see you in the next one.